the grounds around England that's taken a fair battering during this tournament. Pakistan batted it a few times against Australia and South Africa had the same idea in 70 for three. Good hit, it's a long hit, straight and it's six. That's beautifully struck. That was a terrific shot. He's hit it on the rise, right off the middle of the bat. So really the injury is going to force him to be uh, even more aggressive. If he gets away with it, it's really uh, going to benefit South Africa. That's six. Gee, that's a good hit. That is a glorious stroke from John G. Rove. has gone about 12 seats back. Great shot. It certainly was a big hit. John T. Rhodes has stepped up to the plate again. He swings the way. It could be six. John T. Rhodes into the action over the square leg. This is McDermott. Short and well played. That's a magnificent shot. Short and take that. It's over the fence as well. Well, that's a long boundary. And John T. Rhodes... He's not going to be messed around with that short ball disappearing over the fence at square leg. Johnny's not going to muck around here. I don't think he has a lot of confidence in the ability of his partner at the other end. Oh, he's had a go at that one, and that's gone way over the top of the fieldsman head and 10 metres over the fence for six. So a lovely pull shot there from Rhodes. He just led back. He's a bit short. And it was beautifully executed this stroke. Well, the run feast continues, and this is a very, very good cricket shot because he would have known that uh, the man was way back on the fence there, so he had to get the timing exactly right. And he did. To start his ninth. Reverse sweep, and it's a good shot. It's a good shot. It's an extremely good shot for six. Unbelievable, John G. Rhodes, the best, best exponent of the reverse sweep in the world. Hit that right in the middle. Not something that one sees very often. That is a superb shot. Oh, he's hit that one way over the top. That's gone for six. Beautiful shot. He's an exciting cricketer, isn't he? John G. Rhodes, brilliant in the field. And here he is now with a bat, flying it all around the ground pleasure to watch and he's brought uh, the Kings Me faithful onto their feet right shot nothing wrong with the delivery length ball off stump and he just smashes it in the middle it's a very 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 good hit wasn't all that short Johnson Rhodes has picked it up and he smacked it into the crowd slower ball Gone over the top has John T. Rhodes, and that's another glorious shot. He's got runs in that area. This time, he's got six of them. Great hit. That's a beautiful shot. They use that very, very well. Someone who's prepared to take on the, on the bowlers, um, there's always opportunity to score runs. Obviously, you've got to temper that with some discretion. You can't afford to lose another wicket at that stage. Rifle seven, Fleming six. Oh, that's a big one. That'll go all the way, will it? I think it'll make it. Yes, just. That's a six. Full toss. And once again, didn't really get onto it, although that's quite a long boundary down there. But it did just carry the rope. Well, that's a terrific shot. That's six runs. Well, straight out of the coaching books. Right onto the first tier of the grandstand. Beautiful hit straight down the ground. Six more runs. Effortless runs, it seems. John Dee Rhodes proving just how valuable he can be to this South African side. It's been outstanding so far. Full toss and into the crowd. Fine blow again from Rhodes. Thanks, Ian. And over. 
Well, I tell you, he might be a little guy, but when he hits them, they stay hit. That one went way over the top of square leg. It's a shortish boundary, but uh, Richie Benno earlier was talking about the short arm jab. Have a look at this one. Very well played. He picked the flipper. No trouble at all for Johnny Rhodes there. One thing to pick it, it's another one to play it. Now he's been pulled away to the boundary quite beautifully by John T. Rhodes on two occasions. Rhodes's knock was a complete contrast, including six sixes in his 95 ball innings. And it's six more. This is just as special. Yeah, he's gone for another one, and it's sailing again. Two men there. His sentry came up with a pull-off hooper, and Cronier called his men in with a lead of 568 just before the close on the third day. Jonty Rhodes does it in the most magnificent way you could ever imagine. He leaves nobody in doubt whatsoever by hoisting it over the boundary again. Up goes the bat. They walk from the field immediately. They don't even wait for the skipper's signal. An absolutely exhilarating century from Jonty Rhodes. And he's 6-6. Six, six.